Welcome to Thinking Particles Subscription Drop 2. In this feature video, we will discuss the camera map operator and the modifications we did to it. In Subscription Drop 2, we have added new functionality to the camera map operator, which is standard with Thinking Particle 6. The new features will allow you to create more amazing effects in a much simpler and more efficient way. First, let's have a look how the effect looks like right now. As you might already know, the camera map operator uses the camera and its viewpoint to project the texture UV coordinates onto particles. This is why you have the impression that the particles are moving through a projector light. Let's have a look how we did the setup for the scene. It's a pretty basic setup, pretty simple scene. We have a matter waves generator that creates the particles and with the matter waves we do assign a standard shape, the cubes, we assign rigid body, dynamic parameters and we give it a random alignment at the beginning when the particles are created. The next section is the standard force, our gravity, so we assign a gravity to all the particles. Then we have our bullet physics solver that uh, takes care about the collisions and everything. And at the end, we have our camera map operator that takes care about the mapping of each individual particle. And as you can see there, we have everything uh, set up and it works pretty well. And here's the camera. So just as a reminder here, what we get with this setup where each individual particle is modified by the camera map modifier. Here we have it again. The camera projects the UV coordinates onto the particles. Now let's modify this scene to get a much more interesting and more impressive effect. What we want to achieve is that the particles already have their UV coordinates as if the camera map modifier already knew where the particles will land. For that, we remove the particle input and we use the brand new feature we have added, the memory and reset memory options you find here in your new camera map modifier in subscription drop 2. This new setup will allow us to remember the UV coordinates for a camera we have picked at a specific point in time. So you just press the memory button and you have the UV coordinates of that time. The effect we will now get is much more different. Look at the particles, at the little cubes. They already have their texture coordinate. So they're no longer moving through the texture. So the cubes are moving in place to form the image or the picture we want to have with just one button press. It's a really easy, fast effect you can do now and it's so simple and great. And you can stack the effects, you can have multiple camera modifiers, you can grab different times. It's that easy. It's really creating an amazing effect just by memorizing at a certain point in time all the UV coordinates the camera map modifier created for the particles. Let's have a look again and that's the effect we can get. The particles already know their texture coordinates. We think this is an amazing addition to Subscription Drop 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos as well, especially those Subscription Drop 2 videos about our new smoke solver. It's amazing. Thank you for watching this video.